Hello, I'm Dr. Inman. Most of you know me, essentially. This is a short video concerning the shoulder joint of the human being. We have, for the last several zillion years, basically worked on the shoulder joints of the dog, the horse, the cat, etc., etc. And they respond as we would all, having all joints respond. They respond anywhere from two hours to two weeks before we get this um, functionality back to normal, essentially. But when we use the, the uh, joint or we address the joint of the human being, we find out it doesn't work as effectively. It works effectively, however, it takes a longer time, and this is kind of important because the chronic shoulder problems are very common in the human being, but not so common in the canine, and equine and feline. The reason for that, of course, is because the nature of that joint in the dog, cat, and the horse is like a sling that holds the shoulder as opposed to a joint in the human being that rotates like this. And this, of course, compromises everything. When you have a shoulder or a labria that's torn or a bicepal bursitis or what have you, essentially, what can occur is it's very slow to rec recover. So what we do for the human being, and this is a recommendation for the human being, is that we need to laser it for a longer period of time before we give up. Also, we found that there is a triumvirate or for, uh, a, a group of uh, various uh, protocols that we find that are effective for using in the, the shoulder of the human being. First of all, what we'll do is we'll endeavor to laze at about 325 or about 20 to 30 percent the shoulder with um, in the neck pain spinal, pain subset spinal. Remember that this is not for pain, it rehabilitates the actual tissues of the spine. So the red light actually rehabilitates spinal tissue and that's why we use pain subset spinal. Then once we've spent 60 seconds with pain spinal, we switch it over to pain subset joint and go after the actual shoulder. And then this is an important cons a consideration because we find that when we use pain subset, I'm sorry, when we use fracture, subset uh, non-union fracture, and laser the shoulder, then the uh, success rate for this condition um, it increases by at least 100%. So we want you to use that. Now you say, well, it's not a fracture, obviously, but the protocols that are in, I'm sorry, the frequencies in the protocol, fracture, non-union, are very beneficial for chronic joint problems. The final thing that we would use, and by the way, we want to use this all for 60 seconds for each protocol, is bicipital bursitis. And so we'll use, even though it's not a bicipital bursitis, it has the frequencies it'll address repair in that particular area. So these particular four frequencies used for 60 seconds apiece basically should be delivered uh, uh, re regularly over a period of at least three weeks before we decide whether or not this technology doesn't work. Um, it isn't any more complicated than just holding it up and, and lasering this for about 60 seconds, switching it to the next one, which is going to be pain, pain spinal, pain joint, um, fracture nonunion, and then bicipital bursitis, and you're done. That's when t therapy, you can do it again an hour later. You can do it three times, uh, 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 you can do it twice a day for three days, once a day for another three days, and twice a week for two weeks. But my recommendation would be to laser at least two or three times a week. Uh, for three weeks and reevaluate. Keep in mind that it may take six weeks of lasering the shoulder of the human being before you're going to finally get this problem under control. And I would mention to you that, in fact, it is. Come here, you. Uh, mention to you that, that in fact, um, uh, this particular condition takes a while before it resolves itself. A lot of people will bail out of therapy after two weeks, and also practitioners will too, because they're used to the the, uh, the therapy actually resolving the problem in a couple of weeks. And this is one that's going to take anywhere from three to six weeks before this problem is under control. So you should tell your client that I'd be happy, happy to laser you. I'm going to laser you twice a week for the next six weeks. And if you want to bail out before that period of time, then we will waste your time and money because I would recommend that we have laser at least for three to six weeks before we determine whether or not we're going to get this problem taken care of. I've yet to run across one that we've not been able to respond except for the ones that would bail out of care after a week to two weeks and, and then go to their surgeon and have their surgeon whack their, their shoulder open. And then after that, we go ahead and laser them uh, with the same exact protocols uh, to, to take care of the problem that's occurred because of surgery. So if you have any questions about this application, please contact me, area code 208-640-3430. I'll be happy to chat with you about this. I've got a bunch of experience using the shoulder. I don't pretend to be a human practitioner. However, my practitioners, all, about half of which are humans, have basically given this data to me, and I act as a source to basically distribute, distribute it to you. So thank you very much. Have a super day, and happy lasering.